Hello everyone. How are you all? Hope all of you are well at home and you are enjoying our online classes. So today again we will continue the chapter chapter number 13 data handling. So today our topic is bar graph. You know that we have learned data representation in many ways. We can represent the data by giving tally mark we can represent the data by pictograph and we can represent the data also by bar graph bar graph representation is very easy so today we will learn how to represent a data with the help of a bar graph so today's topic is bar graph so just let's start our class today bar graph what is mean by bar graph a bar graph is a graph with rectangular bars with length and heights proportional to the values that they represent so in bar graph there will be two things one is length another one is height so in this class we will not learn how to plot a bar graph we will just introspect the bar graph if the question given in the bar graph that from the bar graph you have to answer only no need to plot it now okay so the what is bar graph a bar graph is a graph with rectangular bars with length and heights proportional to the values that they represent the bars can be plotted vertically so the bars can be plotted vertically or horizontally now you need to know that what does it mean by vertically and horizontally afterwards i will show you some examples from that example you will easily understood that what is vertical bar graphs and what are the horizontal bar graphs vertically means which is standing lines vertical lines means standing lines so think like that that vertically vertical bar graph means which are like standing and horizontally means the sleeping things so sleeping lines like so vertical graph uh, bar graph is also called as column graph vertical bar graph is also called as column graph now one now look at the examples here i have given one example with the first one is a horizontal bar graph the values we are uh, cal we are calculating or we are comparing from the horizontal lines the green the blue the red lines are indicating the values okay uh, and the these these are the the horizontal lines indicates that blue is maximum here that means in february number of visitors are maximum here okay so in this way we can read the bar graph and vertical graph here i have given in the next uh, example there, there is a vertical bar graph see the lines are standing that means it's a vertical bar graph so here one thing i need to mention here that in bar graph the thing is two things you need to maintain that is when you are drawing the bar graphs that time uh, two lines are needed one is horizontal another one is vertical the vertical lines and the horizontal line also indicate also there will be some levels like in first example in uh, vertical lines there is le leveling that month in horizontal line the leveling is number of visitors so two lines are there in bar graph vertical line and horizontal line okay so it is mandatory and in next example also we can see that in horizontal line it is month written and in uh, vertical line it is written number of visitors so it become vertical bar graph now oh, here i will discuss one example here in this page i have shown you the 
bar graph and next page I will give you the question as well as the answer. Before entering the question, I want to ask you one question that where you have seen the bar graphs. Can you tell me that where you have seen the bar graphs? If you have any idea about bar graphs, you can share the answer or you can share your views in the comment section. Okay, so just learn the bar graph. First of all, can you tell me that which kind of bar graph it is? Is it, is it a horizontal bar graph or it, it is a vertical bar graph? First of all, you uh, see the bar graph. Observe it properly. And after that, many questions are there from this bar graph. You have to answer it. You have to check the bar graph and you have to answer it. Now, let, us, let me read the question. How many goals did Jason score? I know that it is little bit uh, tough for you to uh, uh, answer the question. Better you take the screenshot of the first page, uh, that bar graph page, and then you can give the, you can check the answers of mine that whether I have, I'm right or not. I'm reading this question and answer. You will check it uh, by taking the screenshot of the first page, the bar graph question page. Okay. You will check it. First of all, you take the screenshot of that page and then you check the answers, whether it's right or wrong. And after that next question, you will give the answer in the comment section. Okay. So, how many goals did Jason score? That is 5. That is 5. How many goals did Camellia score? 4. How many goals did Ethan score? 8. How many goals did Trinity score? Now, Trinity score 7. Who scored the most goals? Ethan. Who scored the fewest goals? Camellia. Who scored more goals? Jason or Trinity? Trinity. Who scored fewer goals? Camellia or Ethan? Camellia. How many more goals did Trinity score than Camellia? 3. How many more goals did Ethan score than Trinity 1. So, what I have told you need to follow it. First of all, you take the screenshot of the question page. Means as I cannot explain the question, I, mean, I cannot attach the bar graph here. That's why I am telling that you can take the screenshot of the page. Um, means the videos page when it's going on, that time you can take the screenshot of the bar graph and just um, check it. My answer is correct or not, you just check it okay so in this way you also give the answer of the next question next question i will show you in the screen now this is our second question here i will not give you the answers you have to give it so for that reason just observe the graph properly and help miss anna to find out what are the favorite subjects of her students use uh, the graph to answer the question question will comes in the next uh, I first you observe the graph you have to answer it uh, you answer the question from the graph you can take the screenshot of the of this page this lot you can take the screenshot and then you just answer the next question I will not give you the answers you have to give it in my comment section for this question okay so observe the bar graph properly first of all can you tell me that which kind of bar graph it is it's a horizontal bar graph or vertical bar graph so just answer it uh, from the bar graph you have to answer these are the question so i will read the question you have to answer it one by one okay now the first question from the bar graph is how many students like english how many students like English? How Second question, how many students like math? How many students like math? The numbers are there only in the graph. You just check the graph once again. How many students like science? How many students like science? How many students like history? How many students like history? How, what is the most favorite subject? Which is the most favorite subject? What is the second favorite subject? What is the third favorite subject? So these are the questions you need to answer it. Answer. But you have to check the previous bar graph. Then you have to answer. Now this is your homework. You have to practice it. Uh, it is question, worksheet number 
79 i am again i am telling you that no need to plot the bar graph how it is drawn you have to observe it carefully and you have to answer just one word answer you can give for this question okay you need to give the proper answer no need to draw or no need to plot okay so today up to this so thank you